Hi everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four of my Bambi's birthday bash series here on YouTube. This is a seven day video series leading up to my birthday with a new paper crafting video or tutorial coming out every day until then. So if you missed the first three videos in this series, I will leave them linked down below in the description box so that you can check them out. So in today's video, we will be making this three tiered paper suitcase stack. It's super cute and pretty easy to make once you get the basics down. So let's dive into it. So there are three suitcases of different sizes. So we will need three pieces of paper. For the large suitcase, your paper will measure eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters inch. You're going to score it on all four sides at one and five eighths of an inch. And on the 11 and three quarter inch side, you're going to score it at five and six and three quarters inch. For the medium suitcase, your paper will measure seven and a quarter by 10 and three quarters inch. Again, score all four sides at one and five eighths of an inch. And on the 10 and three quarter inch side, score it at four and a half and six and a quarter. For the smallest suitcase, your paper will measure six and a quarter by nine and three quarters. You are going to score again at one and five eighths of an inch on all four sides. And on the long side, score it at four and five and three quarters inch. So I know that is a lot to take in all that information. So as always, the measurements will be listed down below in the description box so that you can follow along easier. So all of these suitcases are assembled in the same way. So I will show you how to assemble the largest one here. So first I folded up on all of my score lines and now I am going to create my tabs to assemble the box. So you have three squares on both long sides of your paper. I am just cutting up on those to separate the squares from the rest of the panel. And then I'm cutting at a slight diagonal to turn it into a tab shape. And by cutting at a diagonal, it just helps in adhering the box together. So I did the three squares on that side. Now I'm doing this one. So you can see I just cut up along that score line and then I just cut at a slight diagonal going into the corner. And it's as simple as that. So I'm going to do it for the last one here. And then we will move on to assembling the box itself. So I'm going to fold all six of my tabs in and then I am going to add some adhesive. So I am using some quarter inch double sided tape. I like using tape for this process just because it's quicker and less messy. So I am just applying three strips to all of my tabs and then I like to use my scoring tool to smooth the tape out so that way when I have to remove the backing it doesn't catch as much as it normally would. Removing the backing of double sided tape can be so tedious for that reason sometimes so I try to combat that by just smoothing the tape out first. So now I'm removing the backing from two of my tabs at the bottom of my paper and then just adhering those to the inner part of the panel next to it. And then I'm doing the other side and I will do the middle last. So you just want to flip up your panel that has the tab attached to it and just adhere the tab to the rectangle that is next to it. So for the middle, which will be the hinge of our suitcase, you can adhere it to either side of your little box here. They're identical, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. I just choose the top at random. So I just fold up the top there and then adhere the tab inside of it. So super quick and super easy to make this, and that is what you want to do for your other two papers that you have scored over there. So you can see here, I have all of my suitcases ready to go and I was showing you what they will kind of look like when they are stacked. We are going to move on to the corner protectors. 
I am not sure if that is what they are actually called, but for that I am taking a one inch circle and I am scoring it at half an inch, rotating it and scoring it at half an inch again. And this will give us a nice template to work with. So now I have a whole stack of those. I think it takes six or seven full circles to add corner protectors to our whole suitcase. So keep that in mind. And I'm just folding these along the score lines so that they are ready to go. This is another tedious part to this project, but it's so worth it in the end. It adds a nice little detail. So we are going to start by having four pieces that have one triangle cut out. So just take four of your one inch circles and cut one of the triangles out of them. Then we are going to adhere these to the top of the lid. So if you open your box, the top part, that is the lid, and we are going to adhere these four three-part circles, if that makes sense, to the top here. And then we will move on to the next step. So I'm just cutting one triangle out and then just adhering this using some hot glue just because it's super quick and it's super easy. The only thing you want to be careful of when adding your corner protectors is that you don't actually um, accidentally glue part of them to the part of your box where it opens because then it will adhere your box closed. So just keep that in mind. So now that those four are down, we are taking one circle and cutting it in half. And then right along the edge where the box actually opens is where we will be adding those. So again, just using hot glue to adhere these down, trying to keep them nice and even. Then all of the next corner protectors will just be single little triangles. So I have four already off to the side here. And basically wherever there is not a corner protector on your suitcase, that is where you will add um, one of these little tri uh, triangle pieces. So I am just adding those to all of the empty spaces. And once I run out here, I grab another one of my one inch circles and just cut it into four pieces and add those all to the back of my suitcase. So you can see off to the side there a little bit that I already did my other two suitcases. So those are ready to go. And once I get these last two uh, corner pieces glued down, we will move on to adding the straps. So the straps are optional. They are just faux straps. They don't function in any way. They are just decorative. So if you want to skip that step, then you can. I like adding the straps though, so I am going to just show you how I add them on. So I'm going to take some of my quarter inch double sided tape and right where the box opens, I'm going to start on the back side of that and I'm going to just add some of my tape down the length of my suitcase and all the way around it. And then once I meet back up with that other piece, I'm going to trim it and cut it off. Be careful not to wrap that tape around the part of your suitcase that opens. We don't want to adhere our suitcase closed. So I got my tape here a little bit crooked. So I'm just very carefully peeling it up so I don't tear the paper and then I am readjusting it. And then I will take my straps, which measure half an inch by 12 inches. That is what they measure for all of my suitcases. And I just trim off any excess that is hanging off once I have wrapped it around my suitcase. So you can see here that I am just adding this to the tape, smoothing it down and then cutting off any excess bits. And I will be doing that for this side as well. So I just try to keep this as even as I can using the tape as a template, as a guide. And now that that is done, 
and all my suitcases are ready, it's time to move on to the handle. So all of my handles measure three quarters of an inch in width, and then they are varying lengths in length. So I think for the largest handle, it measures five inches in length. The one for the medium suitcase measures four and a half, and the one for the smallest suitcase measures four and a quarter. So again, that will all be listed down below. So I just scored both sides of my handle at three quarters of an inch, and then I am folding up on those score lines so I get a nice arch shape on my handle, and then I am using hot glue to glue those into place because it makes it super strong and sturdy and it also just dries super fast. So you can see here, I just fold up on those score lines and then fold my handle over into that arch. And again, just using some hot glue to glue that down. So super quick and super simple. And once this part is done, it's time to just stack our suitcases. So the handle for the smallest suitcase is a little bit long. So if you want to, you can shorten the length of this piece of paper. But I think in the end it worked okay um, enough just because it's actually a long enough handle for you to grab and carry your little stack of suitcases with. So just finishing up adding this handle to this suitcase with my hot glue, and then I will show you a couple of ways that you can stack these. So you can stack them all lying flat. I think that is a super cute option, or you can stack them, the two largest lying flat, and then the smallest one on top sitting upright, which I like to go for just so it's more of a display item. So, I am using hot glue to kind of stagger these so they don't look super precise, make them kind of crooked, give it a bit of character. And I am going to hot glue this one standing up, like I said, and then it's ready to be embellished. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do decide to make this project, Feel free to tag me on Instagram at Bambi's Mail and use the hashtag Bambi's Birthday Bash. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another tutorial. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.